Number 35, this figure over here shows a red card and a green card that moves toward each other. This figure over here is a graph of their motions showing their position x, g, o equals to 270 meters. So in this graph over here, this value here, which is x, g, 0 equals to 270 meters. And this value over here is x, r, 0, which is minus 35 meters at t equals to 0, right? The green car has a constant speed of 20 meters per second. So the initial speed of the green car, which is also the, its final speed, it's equal to 20 meters per second. The red car begins from rest. So the initial speed of the red car equals to zero. And we also know that the acceleration of the green car is zero, right? The acceleration of the green car equals to zero because it has constant speed. What is the acceleration magnitude of the red car? We want to know AR. This is what we want to know. So let's just first like correct some misleading information over here because in this graph, the green car is represented by the, the pink, the red, red line. So this line should be green. And this line over here should be red instead of blue. So this is much easier to understand the exercise. I don't know why the book have done this misleading information over here. So let's write the equation for the position of both cars, which is this equation over here, x equals to x0 plus v0t plus a t squared over 2. For the green car, we have that uh, xg equals to xgo plus vg times t and the acceleration of the green car is zero so we don't don't need to write this term over here for the red car we know that the position of the red car is equals to the initial position of the red car this term over here is zero for the red car since its initial speed is zero so we only have the the final term over here which is the acceleration of the, the red car, not the green car. The acceleration of the red car times t squared over 2. So let's use the information that this graph brings to us. It says that when t equals to 12 seconds, xg, the position of the green car, is the same as the position of the red car. This is the information that this graph shows us. So let's use this information. So let's say that, let's call it T1, right? T1. And when we call, we call this T1, we know that this over here is equal to this over here. And we can equal the, the right part of both equations, which is something like this. Um, XGO plus VG times T1 is equal to x r o plus a t 1 squared over 2. And let's see what we know in this equation. We know x g o, we know, we do know it's this value over here. We know the initial speed of the green car, we know it's 20. We know t 1, we know it's 12 seconds. The initial position of the red car, we also know, and T1, we also know. The only thing that we don't know is the acceleration. So we have one equation and one thing that we don't know. So we just have to isolate AR, and that's it. So AR is equal to XGO plus VG times T1 minus x r o or times 2 over t1 squared so let's just replace the letters by the numbers and then we will find x g o which is 270 plus v g however just Pay attention at this point over here because the speed of the green car is 20. However, its initial position is 
270 and they, they cross at a, a smaller number position so you can see that its velocity is minus 20 its speed is 20 its its velocity is minus 20 meters per second so vg in this equation over here is minus 20 times 12 minus minus 35 and everything over here is multiplied by 2 and then we have to divide this by 12 squared and this if you do this calculation is 0 0.9 let's just erase here 0 0.9 meters per second square this is the answer of exercise 35